This is the Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolts are in the blue, and the Vancouver's are in the red. Well, I think the Thunderbolts are in the red, too. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway. And they look like Washington State, for sure. The Washington State Cougars. That's right. Washington Cougars. I thought it looked like more like Navy against Army. <laughs> well, this is the regular season finale for the Thunderbolts. And number three, Cliff Green, and number eight, Andre Harris are going to receive the kickoff for the Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts uh, trying to rebound after two tough losses against the top two teams in the, in the division. And this team, this Vancouver, hungry Vancouver, Washington Cavaliers, you know, what are they? Cougars. Yeah, Green's got the ball, and Green's still moving with the ball. They are hungry for a playoff berth. Well, right now, they're in a situation where they have many factors involved. Uh, number one is that if they beat us, they automatically get the number three berth. If we beat them uh, by less than three points, they still get the number three berth. For the is that right? Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's an interesting uh, scenario on how this is all working. But uh, the, and if they lose, they need help from the the Jets and the Bengals. That's right. The uh, Jets and Bengals are playing up in Seattle this weekend. And if the Jets win, well, that's it for the Bengals, uh, uh, regardless of what happens to Vancouver. That if uh, Vancouver loses by. Well, it doesn't matter. If they lose and the Jet and the Bengals win, then the Bengals are going to get that fourth. That's right. They slide into the fourth slot. Uh, and we also have to remember that uh, uh, today, if Glenn Vereen has 120 yards, he will have 1,000 yards for the season. That's amazing because the uh, Thunderbolts only played nine. This is only their ninth game of the regular season. They had the forfeit, and I don't think they gave him a free 120 yards to <laughs> his average for that game. No, they didn't. <laughs> you got to earn those. They may give you the victory, but you got to earn the yards. So Vereen on the carry, he's number one, and he just got a, a one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all positive yardage. Second down and nine, and at quarterback tonight we see a switch. The uh, Jeff Thomas, the former Vancouver uh, quarterback, has taken over the controls for the Thunderbolts, and he's been playing a lot of linebacker this year. And, he, and, and he's no stranger to quarterback because he has played quarterback before. Well, Vereen keeps fighting for some yards there. It looked like his, his wall kind of stopped, and he just patiently waited behind it. I think he was trying to get behind our side guy, guys on the sidelines there and use them for a blocking wall. <laughs> Camouflage. Can I stop you guys Well, Vereen got about eight more, and it looks like they didn't even measure, but it looks like about third and a half yard. Watch out for the train. Oh, and they're stacking the middle, and someone's moving. I don't know what's going on in this That was place. a QB sneak, I think. He just snapped the ball, and Thomas just fought for the yard. Well, it, I don't see any flags. Yeah, and there was no flags, and it looked like uh, the the, uh, the Cougars easily uh, slid inside <laughs> across the neutral plane. No harm, no foul. I guess the Thunderbolts would have declined anyway. <laughs> And because uh, they got the first down, they would have took it because that would have given them four more yards than they got. Ah, that's true, and a first down. <laughs> Unless they're trying to pad Thomas's rushing stats, <laughs> he's one for one now. And we also like to remind our viewers that this game is actually brought brought to you by Costco Incorporated in 95.5 uh, Jam in 95.5. Uh, they're sponsoring this game. It's one of the first for the Thunderbolts, and it's a nice way to end the season, a uh, regular season game. Blitz. Harris is there. Little contact down the field. Thomas's pass overthrown. Well, that's one of the shining spots for the Thunderbolts this year is Andre Harris. He has just been on fire week after week. And on special teams. He's he's a very good punt returner. And he, they had him in on every kickoff return. Yeah, he took over for Gary Clemens. And then all of a sudden we found another person that could be uh, out there for the punts and kickoffs. Well, I'm glad to see Costco and Jamma 95 get involved in this. I, I think I think there's a bright future in in minor league football, especially with the. Uh,
alliance that you guys are setting up? Well, in, to, to make anything work, you have to have money, and the only way you do that is, is mostly through sponsors, and you have to have a product they're, they're will, willing to sponsor. Well, and that's, that's the case. Um, Especially when two good teams get together in this league, and this league is full of good teams. Well, this year is, by no shadow of a doubt, probably in the best shape it's ever been as far as uh, parity. I mean, it's 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 tremendous. So we have five outstanding teams out of ten. I mean, and you go to most and league uh, levels. Six and seven aren't so bad. No, no. And, and we, well, we played Bellingham, and Bellingham. R r r they ran almost the beat the Jets. They almost beat us. Yeah, they ran the score up in the first half, and we made this tremendous second half come back to beat them, but they've been playing everybody competitively. Well, and if I'm not wrong, Greg, they're playing the first place Snohomish Vikings tonight, and that might change things a yeah, little bit Snohomish if they were to beat better, them. Yeah, the Snohomish better not going in there napping because they'll get beat. Thomas, third down and about ten. Caught oh, by Grimes, Grimes, and Grimes is going to reach. Reach for that additional half a yard. What a play. And Adam Grimes, uh, Mr. Steady over the middle. He don't care how many people are coming at him. He <laughs> always comes up with the ball. That, that's a good na nickname, Greg. We'll have to hang on to coming at him. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Number 22. And he came from the College of the Redwoods, played that's a little right, college that's ball. That's at Northern California School. Just they must a, play with the College of the Siskiyous. That's right. It's just, they're just Where Clayson came from. Yeah, little little college. With some good players, big time players. And Jeff Thomas signals timeout for the Thunderbolts. Okay. <laughs> it is. I think you, you got to be you got to be a steady veteran like Van Velarde, number five, and just come back every year. And I think some of these road trips, these guys are playing positions. I mean, you could have Velarde playing D line up there. I mean, sometimes they're so Man, can, he can play any position on the field. And I mean, any player if they hang around ten years is going to learn any position and play any position. And there goes Josh Lampkin in the, as receiver. Josh, okay, well, case in point, I guess. Uh, <laughs> These play, and um, well, he might end up playing some defense. Let me guess, playing a little corner or safety. I bet he could play some wicked safety. A lot of those uh, high school quarterbacks I bet he play. Could probably safety. play outside linebacker. That'd be kind of chilly though for a guy that's going to go to college and try to play quarterback, playing outside linebacker and mess yourself up. <laughs> well, Jeff Thomas did a little of that himself. Yeah, he's uh, done with college. He's done with college. <laughs> we got a little different case there. <laughs> Yeah, like Flamke is in the slot to the far side with Adam Grimes in the slot to the near side. And Calvin Griggs and Harris out wide. Nice oh, block by Vereen. Gotcha. Gives oh, him time. The bullet. Oh, and then over Grimes the tried to catch that, but it was a little high. If that ball was down, Grimes had another reception. Thomas, no, it wasn't Thomas Tillery. It was Antonio Sparrow got his hands on that. Boy, he's a dangerous, dangerous foe in that backfield. He can he can he can snag just about any football and bring it down. Thunderbolts dodged a bullet there. You know, actually, I've never seen Sparrow drop an interception. <laughs> and I mean, not that that was an easy catch, but he makes the ones that aren't easy. You ever seen him make a reception? Seems like you know, we, 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 were, yeah, we, made that we made that comment earlier. You you weren't with us the first game of the year, and it seemed like he, he could make the interceptions, but he couldn't catch the passes. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is primarily a defensive. Oh, draw play up the middle. Vereen, he's got speed. He's got wall. Grimes is out there blocking in front of him. Harris with a block downfield. And when those receivers are out there pushing guys back, he got an extra 10 yards. Well, he got he got hidden behind a lineman out there, and the defensive lineman just went right past him without even a thought. And the next thing you know, Vereen found himself going into the secondary all alone. And all alone with a couple blockers. Well, he got a little excited there at the end, and he says, well, you know, if I do a little jig and a little jag, I'm going to go in the end zone. And he kind of got his feet crossed up a little bit and went down, but a, a very nice game. First and goal now, first at the eight yard line. Green checks out, checks back in. 
we'll try to keep you up to stats on uh, Vereen's progress because I think I think we like to uh, they want to stop the game if he gets when he gets a thousand yards. Well, it's one thing to get a thousand yards. Uh, I think about three years ago, the Thunderbolts played a regular season schedule of 15 games, and in the past they've played more games, and that wasn't such a big deal. But the Marines only this is only our ninth actual game of the season, and he's averaging almost 110 yards a game. Well, and Clemens was before he wherever he went <laughs> was was also piling up yards as is the, the train the train's got yards well uh, Vereen's yards are and you're talking about different types of backs uh, of course Clemens Clemens and Vereen are scat backs and uh, they uh, they they put in you know their game average game is like eight eight to nine yards per carry and then you go over to uh, Evans and Evans is going to be somewhere between four and six well, I think he's done better than that in a lot of the games this year. Oh yeah, the Did train. It. But he's he's mainly a short yardage type of person. And then, you know, when you get tight to the goal, you want you want someone that can blow in there. And he can do that. We've seen Evan. We had three touchdowns in one game against. I think it was the Bellingham and. Uh, that's right. The Jets. That was, that's right. Wookie here. <laughs> Chewbacca. The Chewbacca. <laughs> Okay, what happened? Oh yeah, the, the <laughs> Thunderbolts called another timeout. That's the second one in the first quarter. Thomas oh, looking for Enzo. Oh, ball's too low for Lampka. Lampka was open. It was there. We got a bag. We got a bag of juice. Bag of juice, man. Right on. We got a box full of chips. Wow, we're coming up in the world. <laughs> Last game of the year. Apparently, we had surplus. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take it into next year, Fly <laughs> I guess not. Well, Thomas seems to be pretty fired up to play against his old mates there. Wants to get a touchdown here early. Opening drive of the game. And that's Lanza Harden. Harden, and he's back to the original line of scrimmage, it looks like. Now he <laughs> maybe got a couple yards. But it's going to be third and... Now, we was first and eight, but we seem to have lost a couple yards in there. I must have been in a time warp. Because now it's third and eight, and it looked like he picked up a couple Actually, yards. It's, I don't think it's third and eight, it's third and goal. Well, yeah, it is third and goal, <laughs> but it's eight yards. You can't get, yeah, it's eight <laughs> yards to the goal. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, Greg. I'll trade you jobs. Okay. <laughs> you, you do the down and distance, and I'll hey, just, I just, I'll just straight. <laughs> I'll talk the trash. Okay. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you, Tim, you can't describe a play on a chalkboard on ra on radio. Hand off to Vereen inside. Oh. And the only guy there is the ref. Vereen. Oh, he's close. Touchdown! Oh, touchdown. Just over because of the, the ref the Vereen ball there. took he a, quite a while. It. He broke through that line and the only guy there was the ref, but he had to run, run around him. <laughs> well, the ref was right in his way. Yeah, he ran around him and then he had to make a decision. He's, he didn't know whether to go outside or cut back inside the defender and he was kind of like in a, a, a quarry there he, he wasn't really sure to do and he decided to just kind of angle it <laughs> yeah I, I know for Glenn's fast but those guys in the secondary are going to be fast too you got to try and power those guys and Glenn has the power especially he gets down low high snap no rush right down the middle Jeff Wood has all day to kick that over and <laughs> Thunderbolts opening drive seven minutes left in the first quarter march right down and that was unpenalty assisted that was pure clean football I think that's the first game we've seen uh, this year we were in the first series we haven't seen a penalty I mean whether it's been the illegal procedure offsides holding well the Thunderbolts did have to make call two timeouts and that was yeah, that, that might that might come into play later on in the half but it's thunderstruck. And we're on the air. 
And, 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 and just uh, for our viewers to know where Glenn Marine sits right now, he currently has 50 yards already in the game. So he's he's only 70 yards, 70 yards away from that 1,000 yards. And that was only the first series. That's right. Well, it's easier to get those yards when you have, have you don't have someone else in the backfield sharing time. And Glenn Vereen is the man. Hopefully he won't oh, be playing. Oh, and Wood gets a hold of this one. A whole lot of defense tonight. And he drops it. Touchback. And why is that was number back? two, Antonio Sparrow. Well, I, I, you know, I like to have a, I like to understand that rule. Why is that a touchback? He dropped the ball. He wanted to advance it. I don't know. It didn't look to me like he was even in the end zone down there. No, he was. He was two yards deep in the end zone. He got the ball and he started running and he dropped the ball. Then that's a live football. And it's a live football. And then the ref blows the, the whistle and stops the play. And and Antonio wanted to run out with the ball anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I think it's Clark County rules, Greg. The Clark County has their own special set of rules. Well, it must have been implemented because we're in Portland. <laughs> well, maybe they brought the, it must have, it must be the, the officiating the, with them. The sleight of hand of a crossover between Clark County and Multnomah County. I think it's a rule from the, the late 50s that yeah. the referee must have understands. must the coin on what, what, how they were going to call it. <laughs> well, Vancouver sets up on offense now in their first series. They're running the ball. They're running the ball. They saw maybe they saw a little of the Vikings running the ball last week. And that was number 23. Number 23 is Brent L Luntsford. According to this, you never know, but yeah, that's true. But, but we trust him. The name on the list. Brent Luntsford. He goes 5'9", 185. Oh, another Glenn Vereen, but he's white. So he's, you know. They always said white man can't jump, but apparently they can. I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I have to, I have to see less of the sun, less of That's the sunset true. That's to tell. True. From our angle, it, it, anything's discernible. <laughs> well, Thunderbolts defense. But they got six Took yards. a pounding last week. They're trying to rebound here. Even up front, I think the, the Thunderbolt strength of their defense is up front. And they were getting run on, they were getting thrown on, and they didn't have a big pass rush. The Vikings really took it to them last week. Vikings had an excellent uh, way of uh, attacking that defense, and they fenced off the whole defensive line and let their back run behind it, which was a, you know, a whole different way of doing it against the Thunderbolts. Usually they, uh, they try to slant inside our tackling guard. Well, the Thunderbolt defense isn't used to anybody running up anything on them, so <laughs> they hadn't practiced all the. Uh, they hadn't set up any of the <laughs> adjustments. Third down and short, three yards. Slant. Oh, and Cliff Green almost took that away. But a nice play by, that was like number 21, Frank Ulrich, to bring that in and convert the first down and the first right game. in front of Green. And, and, and when we played them the first game of the year, that's exactly the pattern they, they went to. They have, they'll, they'll send out doubles and trips on the outside, and, and one will do a quick out, the other one will do a quick in, and the quarterback will throw it to who's open. Sounds like San Francisco. Little timing pattern. Green was there, but it just, wow. It was boom, boom. It was all timing. So first down, Cougars. Of course, this is a different quarterback than they had uh, in the first game, too. Number 12 for the... Uh, Naaman Vancouver. Archer is number 12. And he was the one who uh, played against uh, the Thunderbolts in the first game. Uh, the Jamboree? No, no, the first game of the year. Delay a game going to set back the Cougars after they got that first down. Now they got to get a buck and a half. <laughs> In the NFL, that's a million and a half. You split a quarter five ways. Archer, quarterback for the Vancouver So is 95-5, are they, uh, are they, are we live on 95 tonight? They, they, or? they, they on their radio station, they keep it current, what's going on in the game. Oh, so they're just, 
They keep breaking they, they'll get the score and uh, how much time's left. Archer throws too wide. Too wide and too hot. Jay Miller. Wait a minute. He's the kicker. That can't be right. It's 23. Oh, okay. That was 23. Brent Lunsford. I was listening to RJ. That's my problem. <laughs> Number 33, the kicker on that reception. Oh, wait a minute. what sheet he's looking at. Now, Jeff Wood, I could see throwing him a pass. <laughs> and Jeff Wood can pass, too. He can catch and pass. He can run. He can throw. He can kick. Punt, pass, and kick. That's right. Name of the game. Oh, well, they forgot tackling. That's <laughs> another key part in blocking, but that's okay. Yeah, that was lacking in the uh, Penn State game today. Ouch. As far as Arizona was concerned. Oh, it looked like. Uh, oh, right at the middle. Green's there. It, it in 56, Lafitte was, had his Lafitte over the line there, but I don't see any flags. No. The officials being extra kind and letting the guys play tonight. And Travis uh, Seymour was uh, intended target, but it was about 10 yards over his head. Seymour is the tight end, and he's only six foot 195. That's smaller than Henry Newsom. <laughs> I mean, for a tight end. That's right, for a tight end. Yeah, usually That's tight like ends Danny look Jefferson like a size. Yes. Yeah, the tight ends usually like 6'4", six, 6'6", six, six, you know, 260, 280, you know. Well, I'd like to be the linebacker that has to block them. They're not him. graceful when they, they run, but they, but they can catch the ball. But you don't want to try block. and cover them if you're a big old linebacker. Well, you don't want to get hit by them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, that's like Evans twice the size running at you. Oh, again, right up the middle. Oh! Oh, oh right, no! Hit. Oh, contact! You can hear that on 95.5. <laughs> oh, yeah. He sent the ball back to the, <laughs> he sent the ball back to the huddle. Was that, right again. was that Wenzel, number 81? No, oh, who, no, it was 23 who was trying to 23 get the 23, the running back. And Van Velarde with Lutzford. the breaker. No, that was Brett Wells, number 31. Brett? And it's oh, good to yeah. see Wells out there yeah, covering up. receivers deep in the secondary. He's gotten his share of criticism. Oh, Block. Oh, you're going to never, oh. ever, you're going to get around that. You got Daryl Reed. Corky Akowski and the ever fierce Clayson. It's hard enough to punt with those three guys coming, but if you don't have the perfect snap, <laughs> you're in trouble. Forget it. He might have been wise to try and throw it or something, but hey. The Thunderbolts pat, punt, punt block team has been outstanding this year. Well, if they don't block the ball, they miss it by very little. Well, Clayson, I don't know, he's got two or three blocks. Reed had three blocks in one game. Corky Akowski. He's always there. And they and they got it not just in the punt, they get it in extra points and field goal range too. That's right. They've blocked they have blocked several place kicks this year. So the Thunderbolts set up shop. And wow, Thunderbolts coming alive here. 15 yard line, first and ten. Fake handoff. Oh, it's batted, up. picked. Oh, and it's gonna be picked. Thomas with the tackle. And a quick turnaround. He gets the he's not even playing defense and he's still gonna get some tackles tonight. Well he did a pump fake and apparently didn't sell it out enough. <laughs> that was a nice play by the defender, got his hand up. And then it just looked like a volleyball set right to three Vancouver Cougars. Oh, ball back to the the momentum shift and just like that, ball back to the Cougars. Oh, Lafitte trying to move those feet again, run inside, and the D-line's up to that. Even with all that jumping around, usually you'll get a little penetration, but they didn't. Shilling there. So now who's playing our middle linebacker if Jeff Thomas is playing on quarterback? Well, I, have you been paying attention? I haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. That's why I'm asking you. Of course, of course, I, of course the way they've been shifting around in the backfield, I can't tell who's the middle linebacker. It looks like Cork, no, Clayson. Yeah, it looks like Neil Clayson is playing middle linebacker, and that's who it is. Ah, uh, interesting. The best pass rusher on the team. 
But also maybe the best linebacker on the team. That's right. Just smart. And he played some fullback, so he knows exactly where the middle of the field is. Because he played some fullback in yeah, high I'm school. Find, I'm trying to find out where the ball was. <laughs> that was a play where you don't move the ball. You just everybody just runs around and then. Did, did you see? Did you see the ball? I had no. They, they didn't use the ball. The ball. They, they, it was a it was a fake play. Uh, the center snaps some air to the quarterback. It was a and air ball. Air ball. That's right. He has to throw an air ball, <laughs> where, in, which results in an air catch. <laughs> and it results in no gain. And, and, and usually the receiver is an air head. <laughs> <laughs> Third and a short five now for the Cougars of Vancouver. Well, they go inside. Looks like it looked like a fake handoff there. Clayson, Clayson, right around. behind him, and he gets a tackle after a first down. Yeah, that's gonna be a first down. Nice scramble. You know, a late reaction out of the middle linebacker. You know that. Of course, that's. We're not trying to blame it on anybody, but that's usually where it's going to have to come from. Uh, well, and he was behind him. The middle linebacker was behind the quarterback. That's right. That's an interesting place. Well, they must have been went tight on you know the throwing it up for like a blitz alignment, thinking that they're going to stack it up the middle. And it, and they went back for a, it looked like they were going to throw it right back up the slot again. They're going to try the slot. Now, no one was open. Yeah, and he just took off running. So Naaman Archer, with a big play for the Cougars, gets a first down. Now to gain about seven. Well, that's going to keep us on our toes if they keep rotating these quarterbacks. <laughs> what do they do? Get a series each? <laughs> now the Cougars tall timeout. Here we are, and still in the first quarter, 41 seconds to go. <laughs> Oh, and now we change Naaman Arch and going out at tight end. Is that right? Who's the quarterback then? At, at the original. We're back to the original. Dave Cole. 13. Oh, he's going to try to run inside. Oh, no, number 10. Oh. oh. And, and a nice tackle. Number 10 is Derek Johnson, a linebacker. Green Green had a chance right there at the line of scrimmage and missed the tackle. Brett Wells up there and made a nice uh, ankle tackle. First down. Number 10 is Derek Johnson. He, he used to play... Uh, I believe wide receiver for the Thunderbolt several years ago. And he's listed as a linebacker. Of course, so is Jeff Thomas. <laughs> if you're big, you're a linebacker. But he's only 200 pounds. He doesn't look like a linebacker. But he does look like Derek Johnson. You know, uh, you can kind of see how a player, after a while, if you've covered too many of these games, you, you can kind of tell the way they strut. That's him. Oh, well, we better get off so we can get the end of the game film here. I wonder if we'd get to see the game any better if that light pole wasn't there. Well, when you saw that light pole, it almost makes it look like you're on a ship. It does. <laughs> so we're on We're Missouri here <laughs> playing a football game. <laughs> if the light pole wasn't there, then you wouldn't be able to see very much at, at night. So we're glad it's there, I think. And off outside, stuffed. I couldn't tell the light pulse kind of in the way. It looked oh, like Corky Akowski was there. And Jeff Schilling. And uh, Anthony Davis. So second down, gain of about a yard. And the thus far the Cougars not testing, not grilling that Thunderbolt defense tonight. We're getting a few more people in here. Second down in a long eight. Sorry if I shake the camera, Scott, a little bit so I can see around the, the pillar over here. 
pass over Johnson, the Johnson, complete. Sparrow, it looks like. Fight for a yard. Willardy well, says, not in my backyard, and piles on. Yeah, he, was, that a, was that a stunner, or was that a body slam? I think what that was is, uh, next time you come back here, remember my number. <laughs> I think just about everybody in this league's met number five by now. Well, that, you know, isn't that two weeks in a row that he's had just, a, well, he had that one, no, that was uh, the Jets game where he had, uh, uh, Harris made that reception and Velarde came up and just absolutely smashed right into him. Great catch by Harris, great hit by uh, Velarde to make the tackle too. Oh, that was the Harris that played for the Jets. Uh -huh. uh, Alfonso Harris. Yeah, Alfonso Harris, that was a great. Clayson, pressure, got it out, fell down and it's a loss. Tagged down by it looked like Brett Wells, number 31. By the way, I wanted to congratulate Van Velarde. I wanted to give him my game ball. We didn't get to game balls last game, but I I found out he was the leading tackler for the defense, and I thought Glenn Vereen had a good game. Mm -hmm. So did Corey Kiyakowski. Did he? Yes, he had a very good game too. He had, uh, I believe it was. Uh, uh, between assists and uh, tackles had nine. Well, Clayson was inexplicably silent last game. Was getting double teamed and fenced off a lot. But he made a lot of rushes too. I mean, he, he made them rush and, and they, they had to work away from him. Good coaching on their part. Now Clayson lines up oh, they're going to at the end in his monster back screenplay. Danner, number 17, on the loose. Daryl Reed got him by the ankle. And number 54, Steven Rosario, the linebacker from Hawaii now, has moved into the middle, kicking Clayson outside. <laughs> and he was probably the guy that wasn't there because Clayson rushed the passer, did the end thing, and by the time the play got outside of him on the pass, there was no middle linebacker to cover the, the running back. Uh, that, it's really interesting because we were standing here and we watched the whole thing develop. We, we knew screen immediately. Well, you could see it. It was, it was the quarterback gave it away immediately. He turned to the side. <laughs> Screen's hard to execute and the, the teams don't get enough time to practice because everybody has to work. Danner trying to get some tough yards up the middle. But it's always good to see a screen work when uh, you don't see, you get to see a lot of them at this particular football arena. Yeah, if you see you four will. a year, you're lucky. <laughs> Danner gets They don't try. They try. They try. I thought the Vikings pulled some off last week. I don't know if they were real screens because they only had one line. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you can classify that as a screen. Was that number 77, though? 75. Oh. 75. He, that's, that's the guy from the Huskies? That's right. Yeah, well, they didn't need any more linemen than that guy. That guy was a truck. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. You can, and you can tell. <laughs> the Bellingham team has a truck, too. He's number 77. He's the guy that beats his oh, head during along. the... Nothing there. Sparrow along with Green and Wells. And the quarterback's lucky he still got his head stuck on his, uh, on his shoulders because just as he was offloading that, that, there was a swarm of Thunderbolts piling on him. Lamont Caldwell, number 96 in there. It's good to see him back on the field instead of on the sidelines where he was last week. Although Caldwell filled in admirably as a de defensive coach last week. Well, this has kind of been a strange game because... Uh, uh, the, the Besides, he likes our show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he loves... Yeah. Well, he loves you. Yeah, that ran. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Whatever that was. The screen. Yeah, the screen. So the Cougars... Take a timeout, trying to keep this drive alive. They have seven to go on third down, and they're right down there near the red zone. They're a little out of field goal range. They're going to call a slant. And he's way late on the throw. Victor Wenzel, number 81, was the intended slant E. <laughs> and he threw it three yards behind him. 
So it's going to be fourth down, and I would expect them to probably go for it. They're they're not in punt area. They're not in field goal area. I think they're fourth and seven's tough, but uh, it's better than nothing. They're oh, we got a flag down. I don't see it, but I hear them talking about it, and it sounds like the Thunderbolts decline a motion penalty. Oh, they're going for a field goal. Oh, okay. Well, I would be watching the fake then, personally. Now this is that running back, right? Well, I, 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 had, a tip, I had a tip that uh, they got a pretty good kicker. Kicker is Jay Miller, and he did all this his experience. I remember in the first game he, he didn't do too bad. Oh! Snap again, Miller on the run. Miller's Miller retreat in trouble. Throws. That knocked down by Van, and that was the best thing he could have done. <laughs> yeah, he'd have caught it. We have lost ten yards. And he, he saw that he didn't wasn't going to get loose with it. Hey, you know what well, do you I expect from number five? Though? Of course, I, I I don't know if he if he did that. I think his eyes just got that big because that thing was uh, that looked like a beach ball coming to him. <laughs> That's what you do with a beach ball. You knock it back up in the air, right? <laughs> So Thunderbolts take over again. Now let's see if they can put together a drive a little bit longer than a half a play here. Thunderbolts lead 7-0. Half a play. Well, yeah. He threw the pass to the other team. That's kind of a half a play. Uh, the other half of the play, the other team has the ball, and he's trying to run with it. I guess you can look at it that way. That's an interesting I may be concept. statistically incorrect. We should go to the league and talk about half plays. <laughs> I'll have to ask I'll have to ask Pat the, the stat oh, man Marine that. gets stood up and still drives through On the run, number one. like a bad date yeah, more like a grease pig <laughs> <laughs> you grab for it and you got a hold of it but you ain't gonna hold on to it second down and seven we haven't seen the train other than a few blocks that's true Calvin Griggs checks out Cliff Green checks in number three Maybe they're still stoking the fire. I don't know. Who's number 70, Greg? Scott Nelson, the former Vancouver Posse player, is on our right guard, lining up next to the house he, there. He, he, that's right. He'll fill in on, uh, offensively. Vereen trying to make the corner flag. Uh, and Vereen, I don't know if he tripped over himself or someone tripped him up. It's hard to tell from our angle. Nope. Number 25, Teague McSwain. Got him by the ankles out there on the corner. There's a holding call against the Thunderbolts. Well, he might decline that because they got a loss on Vereen. Number five, Shadeen. Well, I think he team I, captain making yeah, that decision. Yeah, but I think Shea was—he's uh, asking the, the ref to draw it up on the chalkboard so he can figure this one out. <laughs> <laughs> They lose it down, but they, they gain a yard. <laughs> gain about six yards. I think they would have been set back a lot farther than that, but the Vancouver team decided to take the down. Pass camp, number oh, 14 yeah. in to throw. Got Lampka, quarterback to QB. What a ball. That was a rocket. Nice throw, Haskamp. And that's an interesting call. I, 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 it'd be, oh, maybe they're going to just kind of rotate through the game. I knew Haskamp, you know, they, they were talking about Haskamp playing too. So maybe they're going to just do it in the flow. Thanks. Jeff Thomas standing on the sideline right by the offensive coordinator, back Brad Bergstrom. And he took the whole series, so they didn't break the series, and he took it down for a touchdown. So and Lampka gets his first reception. First down Thunderbolts. Two, two slots and a lone back. Adam Grimes in motion. Pass camp, draw play. Delay. Green rocks a room. Takes it to the corner. Oh. And he's going to get up four. Helps Vereen with the statistics. A while ago, you had 50 yards. And what does it need? 124? 120. 120 yards to crack a thousand. 20 to my stats, 115 to John Phillips' stats. So, you know, uh, by, the uh, league, by the league statistician, it's 115. Five well, that's one. what's official, but not necessarily what's right, right? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. 
Second down and seven, pass camp. Got a receiver. Can't see who it is. It, it might be Calvin Griggs. Well, it's either Gray. It's no. Cliff Green, number three. Green. And he's just past the first down marker, I think. It's going to be close. It's an iffy call. I think he's got it from where this uh, referee on the and near Delroy, side stand. Delroy Connell is right behind the ref. and you know, he, I is, think What did he put in his pocket? Was that a 10 or a 20? I don't know, but he was tapping him on the back of his head, and I don't think any ref likes that. It gets annoying. <laughs> Uh oh, well, it's a first down. Chains are gone. They are moved. And the Thunderbolt offense is on the move. We got seven minutes, nine seconds left in the half. Thunderbolt's up 7 0. And if they win, they are third seed in the playoffs. That's right. For sure, for sure. The only thing we know for sure is where we're going. <laughs> we know that? <laughs> Seattle. <laughs> Seattle or Edmonds? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. It says Edmonds is North Seattle. <laughs> uh, okay. If we, play the, if we play the Jets, it's South Seattle. What the heck does difference? Well, I think there's a difference maybe in the teams. I think I think the Jets... I'm talking about where we're going. I think the Jets we're on the road. might be uh, uh, the pick of the choice. If we had to play one of those two teams, I think I'd rather play the Jets. Well, it, I, I think for the league, it'd probably be a, a great uh, final to have the Thunderbolts and Snohomish together. Thunderbolts first down. Just because of the rivalry there. They try to emulate the Thunderbolts. They did a pretty good job. Well, I'm talking about their whole product that they put out there on the field. They're from their they have so they have uh, endorsements as well. Right. Good block by Vereen. There's Calvin Griggs. There Coverage and a flag. I saw a flag go fly. Oh, and, and the ref pushes Calvin. Because <laughs> Calvin's over there yelling at him, and he's already thrown his flag. <laughs> and he's telling him to shut up. <laughs> Good. Calvin Griggs got to keep that. Got to keep that. I didn't see what happened to the ball on that play. I think it went it over. Was not, it wasn't catchable. Well, that's a break for the offense then. Green up to the gray pillar. <laughs> up to the gray pole. I don't know. Gain of three. Well, you can move this way a little bit too. I'll share some. Yeah, I'll share. I'll share some space here with you. <laughs> We just trying to see around that light pole. Yeah, we have to move around. We have to displace a couple of Thunderbolt fans to see around the light. light. Second down and nine. Brew. That was a pass interference penalty. It was way over here in the. The ref called it, and the receiver said, I was interfered with, but the flag was already on the ground. And so he went up to the ref, and he was saying, hey, the ref says, get out. He just shoves him back. He's like, get back. Now we have another Delay game. penalty. Yeah, after the first quarter where we had no flags. you, you got to tell the, the announcer to announce all the penalties. Yeah. Okay, I like the way, I love that enthusiasm. They all run to the line. They're ready to play football here. Well, they, if they don't run to the line, they'll get another delay. Of now he's running for his life. Oh, he's got him in the middle. Harris, oh, look at that. Pick it up, oh, and I don't think he's down. Yeah, they t they t he did, he touched him on the shoulder. Oh. Well, that's what you get when you come to a Thunderbolts game. You got you got big time players making big time plays at this at this level, and that's what it's all about. Come down here to watch some football. Unfortunately, this may be the final game of home game for the Thunderbolts, so we're gonna have to travel elsewhere to see them anymore this year. National championship that might have a chance at being here. Since the Thunderbolts traveled last year in pursuit of that. Well, I think the, the consensus is to 
have the national championship on the West Coast this year. First and ten Thunderbolts and another penalty. Huh. First and five. Oh, so the Thunderbolts got a. Oh, nice block by Thomas. Thomas playing a little tight end. Sprung Vereen around the corner, but I don't think he got the first, and it was only five to gain. Nice block by Thomas. They're going to give him three. Patrick Reddy was the block. Patrick Re Patrick Reddick. Say that three times. Reddick. Patrick Reddick. Reddick, 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 Reddick. In number seven, you notice that he was wearing a tutu. Oh, that's the chicken. No, no, I'm talking about number seven on. Oh. For Posse. Oh, oh, he has oh. A tutu. <laughs> And off inside. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh. Green. Just short. Saved by the man with the tutu. <laughs> Jason Dean. I wonder if he's any relation to Shay Dean. Hey, I'm going to guarantee. Hey, I'm going to make a call on this. I bet you number 33 gets the ball. I I, I think you may be. I'll, I'll take that bet. I haven't seen him play the the game all night. He hasn't done a thing. That's right. Here I think it's going to be a pass. I'm gonna, I, I, here, here we go. I see the smoke coming out of his helmet already. <laughs> First and goal, Thunderbolts. The fire, on man. the one. Here comes the engine. And he's already Train crowding the line of scrimmage. There it is. Train's got the ball. Train's in the end zone. Wow. I, I thought they might slow him down, but he just fell right over the top. Oh, no. With the smoke coming out that early, <laughs> I knew they stoked it well. What a dimension he's added this year. That short yardage is no question anymore. Uh oh, we have a penalty of the talking variety now. A thousand yard continues. As we see if we can successfully put another one. Hey, I think Jeff might try to land this one on 82nd Avenue. Bounce it over into the auto superstore. <laughs> oh, the ball snapped good. Boom. It's good. Uh, you got some air underneath it. All right. Well, I don't think he's trying to put it through with force. He just wants to make sure it clears that line of scrimmage by plenty of height. <laughs> and it did. Well, yeah, you got to get it over Jason Lang to start with. That's right, because if he ever steps in, it, 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 well, it might ricochet off his helmet and go through. Yeah, if he stands up after he snaps the ball, that's six foot ten right there. So the Thunderbolts convert now on a one-yard run by the train, and it's 14-0. And Vancouver has three minutes and 33 seconds in the half to try and counter. Things bouncing the Thunderbolts way tonight. We haven't seen any really bad calls yet, and we haven't seen any really bad pl plays, although we did have an interception, but that was kind of a good team defense oh, interception. An excellent play because uh, Jeff Thomas Thomas made a nice pump fake, and and still uh, the lineman was able to re-react. He had jumped up the first time and still get able to get his hand up the second time and pad it up. And then he made an excellent tackle. That's right. <laughs> And since then, uh, he's been playing uh, tight end and whatever else, because Haskamp's been in. So the Thunderbolts have the luxury of three capable quarterbacks. Although it's a luxury, it's also difficult to... Well, it's the theme song on uh, Thunderbolts, versatility. <laughs> try and pick one. Another nice kick by Jeff Wood. Right on. Uh, he's in the end zone. That's two in a row. Yeah, I think you can 
do that. Patrick Reddick downs it. <laughs> yeah, you can do that one. That one you can do. If you have the ball and you're on one knee, then you can yeah, go ahead and down it. But he didn't get it. That, oh, my comment was is that the first one, he, he, he was running. So that might be a problem. Anthony Davis trying to figure out where do I look hey! up. There's a flag. Stupid. There's a flag. And that's why we don't have to, if we had a coach up here, we would have saw it. I saw it. I said if we had a coach up here, we would have saw oh. that. And, and we have all these coaches down here, and they don't really know what they're doing. Well, and no one's come and out of the game yet. And, and it's actually against Washington. But they'll get their five yards back if one of these guys doesn't check no, out. It's against us. Oh, it was against us. Well, whatever it was. But no one's. Is ah, hey, 91's checking out. Check it out. Randall Irvin comes out. <laughs> Thunderbolts <laughs> accused of cheating. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Sleight of hand. <laughs> oh, that didn't go nowhere. Get it. That was called NL stuff. Jeff Schilling, number 93, gets the big head Jeff, slap. Jeff Schilling, he uh, slammed that cork back into the bottle. <laughs> So now it's second and six, loss of a yard. Now Clayson in it, middle linebacker once again. Behind the quarterback. No, that's not Clayson. Clayson was down. Oh, that was number 54. Oh, was it? Yeah. Uh, Rosario from Hawaii. And it looked like he made the big hit on the sidelines. And it's a two minute warning. Two minute warning. Brings up a third down in about four. For two minutes, they'll warn you. <laughs> Ready to pay him here. Okay. Third down and four. Two minutes to go in the half. Winzel goes in motion. Gets checked off in the secondary. Looks like they're going to get the signals a little bit better this week. Oh, here it is. Roll out. Middle. Wide. Oh, Wenzel. And a whistle. And why is the whistle being blown? He hit the ground. He said the ball hit the ground. It's incomplete. Oh, Andy, they're Andy. They're calling him dead. They're calling him dead. Well, when he slaps the ground, I thought that meant the ball was incomplete. Well, I guess they thought no, that Wenzel no. must have been touched. No, they said his knee just hit. Well, he's called too many college games. That's, he plays, he referees for Portland State. Wait a minute, he's got a knee down. Well, once the whistle's blown, Greg, I mean, that's it. Of course, it's good for the Thunderbolts. <laughs> well, Wenzel backpedaled and uh, he had a lot of, he, he was going to get tackled shortly. So. I was trying to think. Well, we would like to see the big hit. I think Green forgot to cover or he took the out pattern. Someone forgot to pick uh, the slant in the middle. That, that was good timing on my complimenting the secondary in their yeah. coverage, wasn't it? It looked like Reed or Reed got a foot on well, that, that one. That was Clayson for the first uh, cut out in, uh, what is that, 90? Is, isn't that uh, Marcus? Oh, 90. That's a V. V. I don't know about this blue and red thing, Greg. It kind of bothers me. It looks like the Civil War being replayed here. The Rebels and the Union. I want to know if the North or the South win. The, the North winning, 14 nothing. <laughs> They're the blue. Oh, Clayson. Oh, he's got a hand on. Oh, nice play, Wenzel. Nice play by Velarde. And nice pass. Well executed football. He just got the ball off too, because if he held, if he had to hold on to it for a second longer, he was down. And the clock is running with a minute seven, and so the Cougars hustle to the line, and now they change the play to the shotgun formation. And they're, and they're taking their other quarterback, even Archer. He's playing a, uh, well, I don't know what you would call him. He would be a short receiver. He wasn't even in slot position. I think it probably Derek Johnson firing for the end zone. No one there. 
Brett Wells, the closest player, and he's wearing a blue Union shirt. I think, uh, I think Brett was just making sure the receiver couldn't go back for the ball. <laughs> so that at least stops the clock for the Cougars. Second and ten from the 32. And the Cougars have been unsuccessful thus far on their field goal unit. They tried one earlier, and the snap was bad, along with the punt that they tried, the snap was bad. So they're having some all-too-familiar deep snapping problems on the Vancouver side tonight. <laughs> And we experienced that earlier this year, too. And what a pain. <laughs> yeah. What a pain when you can't execute your special teams just because there's no one that can snap the ball like that. So, second down and ten. Johnson in a quarterback. Fires a slant to Wenzel. Wenzel got speed. Tackled by number 21. He just getting the ball out to the Mike flat London, there. and I don't know if he got out of bounds or not. He did. The clock is stopped. We'll have to talk to Ace about that. He needs to keep that clock running. He's not biting. Oh, we have a legal motion. It's a sh yeah. Well, actually, it's an illegal shift. Or formation. You can call it what we <laughs> <laughs> I feel glad that came out right, Greg. Hey, I said it right. <laughs> Replay it. <laughs> so tune in again next week. No, not next oh, week. There's next no week game. We a week off. A week, a week off. off. Wow. A week, week after off. that. First, first we, round of the playoffs. We will be on TV on the usual channel here <laughs> with a very exciting and meaningful playoff game between the Thunderbolts and another team from Vancouver, oh, oh, from he's, Washington. Uh, slightly Sackage. And that's Marcus, Marcus Royster. Royster. <laughs> A very common number that we've seen before. Marcus Royster with the oyster. <laughs> and now Brad Berksham wants a timeout with the big defensive gain. 19 they, they seconds left. If they can get a run back. Well, that's probably about all you'd have time for with 19 seconds to go. And the uh, now is it third down still or fourth? If it's third down now, they oh, still got. They, remember, they had to give the down back. They took the right, so that means Vancouver still has two more plays to run in 19 seconds before they have that's to. Right. So Royster's sack, I wonder how many yards, that was like 15 yards. Uh, I would say it's about 10. And the Thunderbolts called timeout to try and save some seconds. 19 to go, but the Vancouver Washington it's, it's, Cougars have yeah, two plays. Oh. And Johnson on the run. Clayson got a hold out of his hand. Oh, picked exactly. by Cliff Green. That might go back. Oh, that he's too fast. Back. He has wheels. Go! It did to me too. Although, if he didn't make it all the way, he might have killed the clock because there's two seconds left. So, by going down, at least he saved two seconds so the offense can get a shot. Here, or Jeff Woods, maybe. I think if he would have ran any farther, he would have well, run off the be clock. There's a penalty on the play. Yeah, there is a penalty oh. on the very far side of the field. <laughs> And so, all for naught, but the oh, excitement. Fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> but the excitement. But we can put a little blurp in that you know, this game is brought to you by Costco Inc. Costco wholesale. Jamming 95.5. Yeah, I, I think, think they, they jammed. jammed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're on the same page at That's least. Right. <laughs> That's scary to think. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So it's against the Thunderbolts apparently, because the Thunderbolts, the Union Army is way back at the 20 yard line now in their huddle. Don't worry, Pa, it's just a little setback. You know, back in the Civil War days, I don't think they had like referees and stuff. They didn't no, have they as didn't. many rules. No. You stood there and shot a gun. At and your then, brother. And then, and, then, and then after you shot the gun, you just reloaded while the other guy shot the gun, hoping the other guy didn't shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some past Thunderbolt experience <laughs> games there. It's shooting themselves in the foot here anyway. Well, let's, see, let's see if we can see any uh, last year magic of Haskamp hitting uh, a wideout. Well, he's got two seconds and he's got a lot of wideouts to choose from. Unfortunately, the defense has Antonio Sparrow set up at the 50-yard line. Yeah, he's playing the... But he ran down Cliff Green on that last play. Which well, wouldn't have mattered if he went in anyways because it would have went back anyway. That's right, and it, actually, it would have killed the clock. So then, it for would sure, it would have killed the clock because it's a, uh, a defensive penalty. So what I, missed the, I missed the penalty, Greg. I I know they marked it off against the Thunderbolts, but I couldn't figure out why we had the football still. It was either clipping or crippling. <laughs> Block in the back. Well, now we have some more administrative action here. Well, actually, and we have two are, seconds to go. The refs are getting together to see who's going to make the next call. Well, I think they're trying to order up some muffins for halftime. Right. Okay, who's buying? <laughs> Two seconds left. Josh Lampka in motion. Pass camp. Draw play to Vereen. Vereen's going to get some yards here. That's that's a good call. Gets Green some yards. And Glenn gets about 15. I like that call. 15 yards. Now, you know, the thing that I don't understand is we have five seconds left to go on the clock. So Well, they run it backwards because it was two. Wasn't it two? Yeah. It was maybe the, the lights are burnt out. We have another play going on here. That's possible. Maybe it was eight seconds. I don't know. It says two again. It says two again. <laughs> Actually, you know, I think it's a backwards five. It really doesn't say two. Oh, well, maybe. It's an upside down two or a backwards maybe five. Maybe it's like a record. It's a skip in it. <laughs> It's, it's like Groundhog Day. They'll keep replaying it over and over and over. So this will be the 60, 60, close to 80 yards for the first half. So we'll get his unofficial well, but has, accurate yeah, statistics six, for you at halftime. And we, we said it's about 15 there, so that, would, that put it right about 82. Unofficially. Unofficially. But accurately. There's nothing to... And here we go at the second half kickoff. Jeff Woods get us underneath another one. Bounces over top of the receiver. And it looks like maybe Victor Wenzel. Number 81 or number 21 or short of the 20, and it was Wenzel on the one hopper. Good coverage by the Thunderbolts, trying to hang on to a 14 point lead. And so Anthony Davis scoots off. Before the flags fly, Brett Wells making the secondary call. Corky Akowski on the near side, and it looks like, oh, running play up the middle. Number 54, Steve Rosario in the middle, and he was he, he, he actually read the play and read the slot. Unfortunately, they did a delay. Good for about three yards. Pago Salu checks out, number 57, off the D-line. So Davis, Korkiakowski, and Rosario, the three linebackers. With Clayson moving to end. 
as well as uh, Joe Lafitti. Lafitti at end. Another handoff inside. No, Johnson. Oh, extreme pressure. Well, Lamont Caldwell there. And Neil planted. I mean, they they were they were inside his helmet before he could release the ball. <laughs> no flag. No roughing the roughing the desperation passer. Flag penalty. So the the officiating has been at least merciful tonight for the Thunderbolts. Really, we haven't had that many flags, uh, and all the flags were valid. In we our, haven't had in any our eyes. flagrant bad calls. Although right. you know, actually, the Wenzel pass play where he caught the ball and should have kept running was one, and then the end oh, zone yeah. That's true. kickoff fiasco yeah, where they gave him the touchback. Observe the rule book. <laughs> Other than that, I have no complaints. And number 21, look at it, look at his pants. He looks like he's wearing shorts. <laughs> Ball in the air. Oh, right well nice some play by Clayson. I mean Clayson. <laughs> Clayson made a nice play. Yeah, Brett Wells made a nice play. Brett Wells. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I, I thought you were watching Clayson because the quarterback was on the ground and Clayson was well, probably Clayson, on top Clayson of him. Clayson was all over him. That's that's why the ball went up so high. Clayson was yanking on him, and I was. But actually, Brett Wells made a nice over the shoulder tip of the ball. Well, it looked like there was some contact there, but since Brett got his hand on the football, you can't call that. No. As long as, as, long as it, it, <laughs> some of these time, some of these times they'll call it uh, face guarding, but that was an excellent play. He actually read the ball real well. So now number eight, Andre Harris, back to receive a punt, and we have a, a flag down. We have a flag. We have a 15-yard mark off against the offense against yep. Vancouver. And apparently someone said something that the ref didn't like. So the Thunderbolt like whatever they said <laughs> wish they'd probably wish they'd said it no no they've already had those those games Velarde the near deep back with Harris back across the 50 and last time they oh, got blocked and it's tipped it's this tipped. time it gets blocked again and oh look at Velarde picks it on the fly and he's back to the original line of scrimmage before the penalty that ball was tipped and I couldn't tell who because uh, I tell you what Joe Joe Lafitte and Clayson, Anthony Davis. <laughs> oh man, they, they were just all over the kicker. Well, Clayson's getting the head slap, and you normally suspect him between him and Daryl Reed. If you don't have your punt team together, you better be better be careful because this Thunderbolt punt rush is all all nation. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That. You, you can't you just can't beat it. If you got a kicking game, you better be worried. <laughs> So the uh, Thunderbolts take over in luxurious Haskamp. field position. Haskamp starts the second half. At the 24-yard line, oh, Haskamp is uh, going to lose a lot uh, of that field smothered. position right there. There was five Cougars there on top of them. On the set, number 56 for the Cougars, Jay uh. Ritter. That's, that's close to 15 yard loss. Now they marked it about mm, maybe 10. <laughs> Not to split hairs or anything with you, Greg, but I don't know, they haven't got the. <laughs> A comedian every day. Well, Marino said. Marino at the back. middle. Oh no! Tackled at the one. Was that the one? Is that the one, Greg? No, it's about the four, isn't it? <laughs> You're asking me. I can't even see the lines. <laughs> I, I say that is at right at the five. And Vereen has a healthy 20, 25 yard rush. He got the whole sack plus the first well, that, down that back. Put, that puts him. That puts him just about eight yards shy of the thousand. Well, unfortunately, there's only five to gain, so he can't. He can't get it now. Yeah. Well, I'm First surprised and the goal. train's not in. Well, maybe they're going to try and get a little closer. <laughs> the train only needs five. That's true. His own no. 
Oh no. Oh, Adam hit. Grimes with another remarkable reception. And he gets popped by number eight, Wayne Harris. I mean, he got, as soon as he had the ball in the basket, he got, he got smashed. Is that Wayne Harris, number eight? Is that the that, Wayne Harris? That is the Wayne X Thunderbolt Harris. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. Well, what's he doing playing for them? Well, it, 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 is it a long a, story? He's a Confederate. I guess, a rebel. <laughs> no cause. <laughs> There's us for sure. Boy, does uh, this Thunderbolt team need his services over here this year. Big hit by Harris. And it's a has camp. Fumble Ruski. Quarterback sneak. All the refs are kind of looking Even at each the, other. It wasn't spectacular enough, so they're not going to call the touchdown. After a debate, <laughs> after further review, <laughs> no, no, it looked like there was a vote count out there, <laughs> and, and, and there was enough swaying votes for a touchdown. <laughs> Wayne Harris weighs 200 pounds, is that correct? Uh, he, must, uh, he must have had a lot of tacos and pizza over the winter. 5'8". <laughs> hey, he put some leg into that one. That's almost to the... Oh, it's almost into the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> just a chip shot for him. Yeah, well, that, that was... Uh, Flag just, down. You know, two, yard, two feet short of going over the fence. See what the call is. It, I think it's good. Well, and the point after it's good. They had another vote. Unsportsmanlike conduct this against somebody against the rebels. <laughs> Them Confederate Cougars. <laughs> Oh, they must. They hit the. They hit the. What's going on here? We got. We got. Hopefully, we got the hands team on. Now we have three unsportsmanlike conducts against the Washington Cougars. Their coach was ejected, and so the Thunderbolts are kicking off from the 20. And if they're not thinking onside kick, they're not thinking because well, they could get the ball <laughs> on the 10-yard line. Well, where, where can Vancouver go? They're on the goal line. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, there's no spread for the ball. <laughs> so Thunderbolts lead 21 nothing, and we just got a score from uh, Puget Sound Jets Bengals game. Although by the time the show's on, it's over. <laughs> but at this point, the Vancouver team knows that the Jet the Jets are losing to the Bengals by six points, 20 to 14. So they. They have to win this game to, to make the playoffs if that game doesn't change. And now they're huddled on their 10-yard line. And <laughs> we've had a little chaos here after this Thunderbolt touchdown. <laughs> I think right now the coaches don't know what to do. <laughs> They've never been in this situation. Uh, who has? <laughs> I, I've seen first down in 45 before, but... You've never seen a kickoff on uh, this side of the 50. Uh, -uh not on the 20-yard line. Not in a million years. Well, first for everything. <laughs> He's neutral. He's Here we go. Yeah, it's a squib kick. Recovered by Nate Griffin, number 30. Oh, the ball's loose. The ball's loose. He didn't get it. Well, he had it. The ball loose. Shook it away from him. He rubbed right off the ball. He went down for the ball, but he slid. Calvin right Armstead comes out with the football. You're right, Greg. He dove. The, the Vancouver guy dove on the ball, but he slid right over it and left the ball stuck in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good play to try and recover it, and a good call by the Thunderbolts to go on sides there. What else do you do when you when you're on the 20-yard line? Uh, let's see. Where it's anybody's ball. Now, after 
want an hour. Yards. Okay, so we're sitting at the eight yard line. So he could get a thousand. Number 13, Jeff Thomas checks in and is a tight end. So uh, Haskamp and the offense set up on the eight yard line. He needs four yards. Four yards. Glenn Green needs four yards. And Calvin Armstead is in the backfield. Oh, and, and that's going to be a touchdown. That was an interception. Green with Green. the tackle. Cuts him out. Oh, man. Where is the train? There's a swag on him. Oh, he should call the game. <laughs> Flag on the play. Calling the circus. It's the giveaway takeaway. Giveaway takeaway. Well, the the foul must have been on the return. Yeah, that was. Uh, I think it was illegal motion on offense. Oh, refused penalty That's against right. the offense. So a big play. And speaking oh, of big play, loose. and another the flag. Del Reed for the touchdown. <laughs> was that rugby? <laughs> Australian rules football. That was some kind of pitch, and it went way awry. Daryl Reed with a touchdown, but there's another flag down, and it might have not even been a play. There might have been too much motion. Or emotion. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it, Greg? Hey, you know, we haven't had a flag. We didn't have a flag for the first half. I think, well, we had two flags in the first half. We had a lot of well-executed well, football. Four flags in this last five minutes than we had probably in the last four games. <laughs> Face mask is the call against the defense. Five yard version. It negates the touchdown. And it negates the recovery to f uh, fumble. I want to know where the fumble came from and where the face mask came from. That's I think maybe the nose guard grabbed the center's face mask, and so the center, the center fired the ball over the quarterback's head. <laughs> <laughs> Tempers flaring out there. Now these two teams, again, no love lost. Uh, this is a rivalry. The, the Washington Cougars players at least half of them have played for the Thunderbolts at one time or another. And then there's a few Thunderbolts that have played over there or have played over there. So, so we have a timeout situation. I don't know who called it. But the, the water boys checked in with the water. And it's Cougar ball, first and five. Oh, it's an all Johnson blitz. Going deep for Brett Wells, and he's got him. Caught by Brett Wells. <laughs> Wells is having a well of a game. Underthrown in the attempted receiver for the offense. I, I haven't caught his number. Number two, Antonio Sparrow. And it looked like Wells wanted that ball more. Wells was in a perfect position to catch that ball. The only one that could have caught the ball was Wells, unless he fell down. So that's three consecutive turnovers. No one wants the ball. <laughs> and only two of them, one of them counted though. Well, the other now, <laughs> I guarantee four consecutive where we're <laughs> sitting at right now, I, 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 I honestly believe Marine's getting this ball. Green four yards. He's four yards. And Calvin Armstead in it. Where is the train? That's 25 in the front. Oh, is that 25? The big fullback. Marine getting He's got some his yards. Four yards. Held on it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have your attention. Number one for the Oregon Thunderbolt, Len Green, has just reached the 1,000 yard. Big 
So Glenn gets a thousand yards in nine games. And he's not done yet, and this is only the third quarter. And he didn't he he started every game, but at the first five games of the year, he was sharing time with Clemens. And he was sharing time a lot of carries with the train. And yet still and he has ripped off more 20, 30, 40, 50 yard runs this year than I can remember. So congratulations to Vereen. And we have two different backfield runners. So Vereen comes out. <laughs> big number 25, Richard Hines Norwood, the fullback. Oh. And number 30. They gotta, they gotta figure out that play don't work when the back goes in motion because that's pretty obvious that the quarterback has no protection. <laughs> Both the running backs went out, were swung out to the right. And I don't have number 30. Is that the kid that was with uh, Clement, Clemens from Portland State? Number 30, he's not in my roster. But he was playing tailback. And it's good to know the Thunderbolts have a backup tailback because last Last week was Vereen or nothing, and Vereen's great as long as he can play, as long as he's healthy. Well, something must be wrong with uh, the train, because he hasn't been in. I don't see the train. <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah, he's here by Calvin Armstead on the sidelines. Pass camp, looking to throw. Grimes, almost picked off. Number 11, Maurice France, uh, that's another a, former Thunderbolt, got his hands on it. Adam Grimes usually always comes up with it, and uh, that was just a little bit too high for him. It, it was a, not a well-thrown ball. It was kind of John Wellway's speed up over top of Grimes. I think it was six inches down, he had it. Oh, yeah. Would have been a great catch. So Jeff Wood and the Thunderbolts punting unit we see for the first time tonight. And they're still trying to work the bugs out now. <laughs> I'm in, you're in, no, you're out, I'm in. No, you guys already played, so you get out. <laughs> <laughs> So Armstead decides to stay in at the monster back at the wide side. And it's a big rush, but oh, Jeff and he Woods. Oh, gets it off. He shanked it slightly, but it's in field. Gets a, boy, what a bounce. That was only about a 15-yard punt, though. That, was, uh, that had backspin on it. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a nine iron. It was the best punt of the night, though. <laughs> <laughs> for him. <laughs> for anybody. The, uh, the the Vancouver teams had a lot more trouble punting well, The ball it. was kind of snapped off to his side, and he had to run over and reposition himself. And, and then the, then he has to get into his rhythm to take the step and kick it. So. And he had a rush. The uh, Washington Cougars had a rush on, and he did have to get rid of it. <laughs> Oh, did you know Reggie White's coaching is for the Vancouver <laughs> Posse now? Or the the only their assistant coaches, Reggie White. I wonder if he coaches the defensive line. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, wrong He's White. He's preaching wrong. now. Oh, wrong White. <laughs> Actually, there was another Reggie White in the NFL pick. No, caught. Number 12, Naaman Archer, the uh, quarterback from the first quarter on the reception. Quarterback split, tight end split, wide receiver split. Slash. No, he, no, Gain he, of he nothing. Slash. He's not slash. <laughs> Gain of nothing. Does that go as a completion? That's a completion. Uh, one for one with zero yards. He caught the ball. <laughs> Adding to his passing and his receiving statistics. Second and ten. Johnson running. Looking downfield. 
almost caught by Ar Archer. Well, I'll tell you what, we made such an impact over the middle on actually hitting the receivers that they're starting to look now, so they're not reaching up for the ball anymore. He could have caught that, yeah. and he would have gotten nailed. <laughs> he would have got decapitated. It looked like maybe Anthony Davis was there. Well, Brett, Brett Wells, Wells was, was there. Yeah, he was sighting in on him. It tried to do that high-low Heimlich ma maneuver. That's that mid-air Heimlich <laughs> And he wasn't maneuver. even choking. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> And we'd like to remind you that uh, this game is sponsored by uh, Costco Inc. And uh, Costco 90, Wholesale. That's right, jamming 95.5 on someone's radio station. And it's third down now for the Washington Cougars. Shotgun Johnson fires across the middle, caught. And a miss. Oh, and he gets tackled by his own man. And Archer takes him down. <laughs> <laughs> nice play. Frank Ulrich with the completion from Johnson. I guess Brett Wells and Velarde were there, but they cleaned up after Archer took him down, tripped him up. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good cutout play. Cutout play? What's a cutout play? Well, that's where he just cuts his legs out. <laughs> that's because that's what exactly what he did. Well, I thought maybe that was the pass pattern he was running. A cutout. <laughs> or else maybe that's what he no, does. No, just a cut. Oh, okay. <laughs> a cut, okay. That looked kind of like motion to me. Oh, oh, oh. Johnson firing. And, oh, and a lucky fan on the sidelines makes a wonderful catch catch there right at the 20 yard line. <laughs> I mean there wasn't a receiver. <laughs> he might have saw that red tackling dummy back there. Thought it was one of his wide outs. Plenty of red guys over there. Unfortunately they were out of bounds standing on the sidelines. <laughs> Well, apparently there's a foul against us holding. Well, well, Maybe that's right. what it was. The receiver got held. <laughs> I didn't see it. I didn't see, I didn't see anybody over there. He probably tackled the uh, the receiver, and that's why he wasn't well, in the maybe, picture. Yeah. Was, they were laying on the ground. <laughs> So again, join us two weeks from tonight, Tuesday, 8 o'clock, on Channel 11, 31, wherever you're at right now, and we will have the first Oregon Thunderbolts playoff game, and we will be able to tell you, I think, maybe tonight if we get another phone call from Seattle, exactly which that opponent will be, but it, for now it's going to be either the, the Puget Sound Jets or the Snohomish County Vikings. Oh, and, and that, that was a reception. Oh, and the ball. And, and now, it, isn't that the breaks on the play? Two Thunderbolts stick their arms up, block the pass, it deflects into a Vancouver player who takes the ball for a reception and gets almost five yards on the play. <laughs> a bizarre continuation in a bizarre half of football. But nevertheless, the Thunderbolts leading 21 nothing with three minutes, 25 seconds left in the half, in the game, no, in the quarter. Did I get that right? It's the third quarter, Tim. So, I know, it's Thunderbolts been a long nurse. Third quarter. <laughs> it has. Since then, it's gotten dark. The lights have come on. We know they were. We know the flags are in everybody's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so far. Victor Wenzel in motion, cuts across the middle. Jarek Johnson sees him, but he can't get it off. Oh, he saw him, but there was too many arms on him. Vave Tafico, number 90, made the play. He didn't actually make the sack, but he disturbed Johnson into 
and then he just waited for his t his uh, teammates to clean up. Well, they just replaced the defensive front line with three fresh bodies. Now Tofico comes out. So does Royster. So Schilling and uh, 91 Irvin and 90, I think it's 92, yeah. 90 Price. Price, Irvin and Price. That's right. Schilling, Irvin and Price. Third down and about seven. Shotgun, Johnson looking for end zone. No, not catchable. Number 21, Frank Ulrich. Well covered there by Brett Wells and Kirk Cliff Green, and I, Velarde was over there too. That was a really interesting play. The, uh, that almost was, it, it, it had the formation of a pick, but it never got to that point. Uh, the Van no, because there was three Thunderbolts there. Well, no, the Van, the, the, the up uh, Vancouver receiver uh, just stopped, which froze our man at that point, and their back receiver came up and tried to come back out of the end zone for that ball. <laughs> Which wasn't thrown well. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was thrown well as far as the not turn. incurring the interception, but incomplete. Fourth down now, fourth and six, and the uh, Cougars going for it. Down three touchdowns. Figure that they can hold the Thunderbolts down here if they can't convert. Looking for the end zone. There's Sparrow. And he's got a touchdown. So Brett Wells with a big hit, but not big enough this time. And he put some heat on that ball because that thing went zipping through, and you could hear it just hit off him. So it gets sucked in there. So Sparrow, the one-time Thunderbolt, scores a touchdown. Your attention now. We have three fifty dollars certificates. And we'll see what happens on the uh, extra point and the snap attempt here. Let's see if they can block this. Close. Glazen was laying right over. Ah. And fortunately, Woods doesn't put it onto 82nd Avenue. It catches the fence. <laughs> so the Washington Cougars come roaring back, so to speak, with a touchdown. And they're still in the game. And that's where we've kind of been susceptible all year is right in that slot area. And, um, boy, I tell you, once you... We, that's one thing that the Thunderbolts have to start working on to uh, cover up for the, the playoffs. O-line. Yeah. Anyway, the Thunderbolts have made their living off of Grimes tonight. Going over that, that slant as well across the middle. Well, they've gotten some yards out of it anyway. Harris. That's out of the end zone. Can't return it. Low kick, but it cleared the end zone. If Harris could have got to that, he probably could have made a heck of a return on that low kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have the official cheerleader area. <laughs> I, I want to go down to the cheerleader area and get my Costco $50 gift certificate. Glenn Vereen is out. Number 30 is in. We'll have to call him number 30. <laughs> Pass camp. Oh, big block. Tries to do an out. There's a flag on the play, and I would imagine that from what I see, it'll probably be holding. Do me a favor. Now number 63, that's Bubba Brown, isn't it? No. No? Bubba Dave. Brown's always number 63. That's right, but that's actually Dave O'Neill. Oh, it's Dave O'Neill? For some reason his jersey wasn't in his bag. Oh, I thought maybe he was making a political, offensive line political statement or something by wearing... Oh, Bubba lost weight. Bubba lost? Huh? <laughs> 
Bubba, Bubba lost his? No, lost weight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> One less bucket of chicken a day. Well, I'm trying to figure out what the... It must be. Oh, ouch! Football. Ouch, football. Get up and touch number 30 and has camp there. Wow. So that can change a game like just right now. Haskam got nailed. They have not figured the blitz package on the outside. Well, and where's Glenn? I mean, Glenn's the guy that makes those blocks back there unsung when they're passing. You always see number one latch on to one of the defenders, and then Haskamp has that tenth of a second he needs to unleash the ball. Oh, this changes the whole complexity of the game. We haven't even got out of the third quarter, and, and, and it looks like uh, Vancouver can put 14 points on the board instantly. And you know, in the first game, this is basically the same way it went. Uh, Thunderbolts went to a big lead and then uh, we got on Pro Glide and and then uh, uh, Cougars came back. Cougars first and goal on the three. <laughs> Defensive line shifts. Oh, oh, offensive movement. Well, it takes a quarterback to make it. <laughs> he was on his own snap count. Right. He was calling a different count. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I am clueless. I, I need to go down to the refs and ask them for their rule books on this. Now they take out, they put in Price to take out Velarde, but I don't think you take a Velarde out of a game. Oh, now another flag. Yeah. A delay of the game on the officials. <laughs> and it's going to be against, it's going to be against the Thunderbolts. I bet you they lined up in the neutral zone. Or someone said something. Or someone spit. Or something like that. <laughs> well, maybe they caught their error, hopefully. And they Let's can put, bring out. the ball back to where it belongs. Of course, you can't move the ball much more than that. It can only go about 10 <laughs> inches. <laughs> <laughs> so it's incidental in that. It's something that against, he, he didn't signal what it was. He just pointed that it's against the Thunderbolts. So yeah, I, that's clear to me. It's a, it's a real good officiating crew here. They're, they're very clear in their statements. <laughs> clearly, they're clearly not being clear. first in a couple inches now. Like I said, I wouldn't take a Velarde out of the game. He could be the guy that flies over the top and denies this play. It's a touchdown. Randall Irvin got a hold of him, but couldn't hold him off. Is that 23? <laughs> oh, who ran the ball then? Yeah, Lunsford. No, no, I don't think it was. He was too big. <laughs> the guy that ran in, I, I don't know. It, well, he dragged Irvin in, so he yeah. must have been pretty big. It had to be big. <laughs> if that was 23, Irvin would have tossed him out like a, a hammer throw. Now the ball's down, the kick's up, and it's blocked! And that's it. There's no return. And half of the Thunderbolts team, six of them. Oh, I'm sure Clayson had a hand in on it. <laughs> he's chasing leader, that He's ball the leader down. of the Rat Pack. <laughs> the Rat Pack versus the Rebels. Uh, Vancouver Cougars, Washington Cougars. <laughs> Back in striking distance, 21 to 13. They just need eight points. Nice kickoff again. Who's getting the ball? And that kickoff. Andre Harris. Back to Harris. Green in front. Harris cuts it back, and he has some wheels. Boy, can he return a kick. And he's got some moves, too. But he only got out to the 20. Now that last kickoff, oh, end of the third quarter, finally. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and it's Vancouver 13, Oregon Thunderbolts 21. And it looks like that's Josh Lamb. Yeah, Josh Lamb. Oh, God. But he's going in, yeah, no, as a receiver. camp in at quarterback and he gets sacked again number three Patrick Reddick and that's two sacks and then the uh, Cavalier uh, <laughs> Cougars first they had the uh, the kickoff that bounced over Harris's head in the end zone yeah. and that put him in that horrible field position then they got the big sack and fumble and now they got another good yeah. kickoff so now Jeff Thomas goes in at the quarterback so Jeff Thomas <laughs> gonna play a relief pitcher to see if he can get a, a save tonight Thunderbolts up by eight runs <laughs> And the right-hander lines up behind center. Hence to Vereen. You can't go wrong there. There goes Glenn. No, missed tackle. And Glenn holds on to the ball. He's going to get close to a first down. He got back all the yardage of the sack and another nine or eight, nine yards. <laughs> so if... Now, I don't know if that's the difference, but if you hand the ball to Glenn, good things happen. And this is kind of Glenn's night. Well, right now, kind Glenn, of. Well, Glenn, Glenn, the Glenn, let's see. He's what happened to Glenn? He checked out for a couple series. He has 198. Then he breaks the record by going 202, uh, 204. And now he breaks 1,000 yards, and he could be getting close to uh, another 200-yard game. So Vereen, back where he belongs, behind the center, behind the quarterback, who is now Jeff Thomas. Vancouver jumps, Thomas takes off, whistles, oh, whistles blow it dead. <laughs> Thomas spikes it. <laughs> That should be a like a double foul with double enforcement likes or something, and then then we get the five yards. <laughs> And remember, the, the Washington Cougars are playing this game without their coach. <laughs> he was ejected in the third quarter, along with Martians landing in the far end zone in the third quarter. <laughs> We've seen it all tonight. Big like a big blitz. Ow, wait. It is a blitz. Right into the blitz runs Glenn Vereen. And Teague McSwain. You know, I, I've been stopping you all night. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> so Teague McSwain nails Glenn's. My calves hurt when I see that. Ow. Well, he went down low, but, you know, and then on top of that, he had to get up in uh, Glenn's face. You know, that, that that's the classic Glenn. He, he never lets that stuff bug him. But he just walks right back to the huddle. So second down and 11. Thomas, the quarterback. Pitch to Vereen, far side. Blocked by Harden. Lampka and Rod Nightingale check in at receiver. And it looks like a gain of 
12, third or four. It's going to leave it. Yeah, it's going to be a, almost seven yards for first down. Harden comes out. Passing emphasis. You got trip re well, at least three receivers out. Oh, Rod Nightingale is going to check out now. You got Calvin Griggs. You got Cliff Green in there. You got Lampka in there at wide receiver and Grimes. So it's a four wide. Well, they're stacking the ends again. Here they come with the end, end package. Lampka in motion. Thomas, draw play inside Vereen. Vereen's got the, oh. It's going to be close. I think he's just short. Oh, they give it to him. Did they? I'm I, I don't know. I, I yeah. It's gonna, the spot, you know, where where the actually the mark, where the mark is. You know, They're gonna have to measure this one, but I think he's short. We can't look at the lines because the lines are not exactly straight. <laughs> That's true. It really matters on how long the chain is, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. If there was a couple extra gopher holes out there, maybe you know, he could. Uh, that's, right. uh, I, that's the the. It's always facetious to look at a line, you know, and you try to line it up. You say, well, it's not, you know, it's that much farther ahead of the line over there than this. But uh, well, we're straight this. out from oh, this. No, it's, so. short. it's short by a half a football. Yeah, and it's fourth down. And do you and think the Thunderbolts will go for it? I certainly do. Why I think, is that, Tim? Uh, because that's what Thunderbolts do. That's what Thunderbolts do. Not, Jeff Thomas is in there, but I, where has... Inside your 30-yard mark, you go for it. Where is the train? That's the re lingering question tonight. Yeah. There he is. He's got his shoulder pads off, and he must be hurt. The train is derailed tonight. Well, apparently he got a chip in the wheel. So it's fourth down. Quarterback sneak. And yeah, you got a 240 it pound is. quarterback. And he's got it by a long ways. Like a body length? <laughs> or is that a body a bag? A big body length. <laughs> Call him the train, too. I think he might actually outweigh the train. No, that's the. He's, he's the coal car. <laughs> Six three two forty is Jeff Thomas and five not five ten six oh two forty. So the train's just a little bit shorter. Yeah. Well, there really isn't much much that much difference between either one of them as far as build. So Jeff Thomas converts and it's the twin slots. Thunderbolts trying to put a drive together. There's 9.50 to go in the game, but the Vancouver's come back. Thomas knocked down by Green. Thomas under heavy pressure that time. And someone got his arm and he's then he threw that ball up. He's uh, strength and he's taking the ball and throwing it like a bullet coming out of a rifle. No arc on the ball. I mean, he just... And Cliff Green came back to try and make a play, but he realized he's going to get stopped and just knocked it down. Pretty exciting, incomplete pass, anyway. I thought, I, I, as soon as I saw it got tipped, I said, oh, here comes another one of those exciting plays again. <laughs> We'd like to thank Costco Wholesale for sponsoring the Thunderbolts game tonight. Hope uh, sponsors find us a worthwhile investment. We've got a good crowd here tonight, too. I'd like to thank the crowd coming up for coming out. It's a nice warm night. Great night for football. And just as soon as the uh, Thunderbolts, well, this is a regular season, football season starts for college and pro and high school, the Thunderbolts, uh, the minor league football teams are going into the playoffs. As will the Thunderbolts. Two weeks from tonight, we will be covering the Thunderbolts' first playoff game. Haven't heard a... Haven't a 
call. Haven't heard a score from Seattle recently, but the Bengals of Pierce County were ahead of the Jets, which means that the Vancouver team would be eliminated if they were to lose this game. That's right. I think they have more of a keen interest than we do. Well, the Thunderbolts have an interest in getting back on track after two frustrating losses, and I think... Adam Grimes called the timeout on that play. <laughs> so there must timeout been Thunderbolts. Jimmy. <laughs> oh, hi, Mrs. Greg. Vereen gains a couple. And that Vancouver Washington Cougar defense stiffening up third down and 13. They're trying to get the ball back. 9 and 12 to go and counting. And they need a, they're down by eight. They need a touchdown. They need a two point conversion to tie this game back up and keep their playoff hopes alive. Well, they have a chance still, but if those Bengals win and they were ahead, then the Vancouver team will be eliminated if they don't win this game. But then again, the Thunderbolts, having lost the last two tough playoff or tough games on the regular season, and there it goes. looking to rebound. Oh. Push. There should have been a flag on the play, but they won't throw the flag because he was out of bounds. But actually, he was pushed out of bounds. He was pushed out of bounds. Number 30, Nate Griffin. That's not Nate Griffin. He's a fullback. If he had left the ball on the inside, I think Cliff would have had an easy touchdown. Good defensive play, then. What can you say? Well, I think well, <laughs> he got away with it. Yeah. Well, I, I'm talking about all the ball where the ball was thrown. He, he threw it out of bounds. You know, so it really wasn't a catchable ball. So now the Thunderbolts bring in the punting unit. Hopefully, Woods can get a little less under this one and a little more behind it. Well, the first quarter started off as a great offensive threat, and then all of a sudden we've kind of... Opening drive, yeah. Woods. Oh. High snap. Gets it. Good protection. And he gets it away. And it's going to get a bounce. Too. It's going to get received, though, or returned. Nice play Harden. by Hart. Harden takes him down. So Jeff Woods nets about 25, 30 yards. Helps out the Thunderbolt defense tremendously. That's, that was a very good kick considering he was running all around back there. <laughs> he had a lot of pressure. Van took the, the I don't think he got his whole leg into it. <laughs> Here we go, five, four. But he hit it just light enough that it had, had a nice bounce before it could be returned. And it gave the return team time to get down there and take care of business. Tom Johnson fires the slant. Not caught. Frank Ulrich. Oh no, that was that was Wenzel. Incomplete. Eight minutes to go. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Second and ten, low snap on the shotgun. Good coverage. Uh oh, except for him. <laughs> Well, Tim Price, Tim Price covered the Danner, the running back. Wasn't let him out on the screen. Is that the quarterback that's down? And so Johnson had to find someone else, but he did. He found Archer across the middle. A good play by the big D lineman, though. Same, same area, right? It's just beyond the linebacking area. Uh, 
that's uh, where they got the touchdown from. The same, the same. Area. The hole, and who's supposed to cover that area? Isn't that the middle? Is that the middle linebacker uh, yeah, or the you safety? You have a strong safety and a free safety, but it's also a linebacker too. It, it, it's it's a hole right in the, between yeah. the three. Have, yeah, it's between the three, and they have to watch who's coming out of the field and what's slanting across. And they have they have assignments. A man in motion. There's checkoffs and everything like that. And they're all facing that. Everybody's picking up the call. You know, as they're signaling it. So yeah, I think it's the quarterback, Derek Johnson, down on the play. So, Arian Kirill, number 77, was the injured Vancouver Cougar. And they helped him off the field. Big, huge lineman, number 77, goes 6'5", 350. He played for the Thunderbolts a couple years ago. I think they called him a refrigerator or something. And now he's back. <laughs> you can't miss number 77. Okay, back to the action. Cougars. First and ten, handoff. Felt like number 23, and he was having trouble holding on to the football. But those four Thunderbolts had no trouble holding on to number 23, uh, Brent Lunsford. No gain, if any. <laughs> Maybe a yard. Seven minutes and counting in the game. Number 12, Naaman Archer checks in at receiver. And Naaman Archer checks in at quarterback. Now, Winzel goes in motion. Archer looking to throw. Got some pressure. Fires to Sparrow. And Sparrow and Brett Wells have been going at it all night. Wells has won most of them, but Sparrow got that one big touchdown. Was it almost a touchdown pass? <laughs> Set up a touchdown. But that was a modest gain. So Winzel calls the timeout. <laughs> Winzel calls timeout. The quarterback comes in and Winzel calls the field. So I guess it was Derek Johnson, the quarterback, that was hurt on that previous play, and that's why Archer's in there. The stadium announcer just mentioned it. They're going to have him looked at by a doctor. Archer looking to throw, going to roll out. <laughs> but fires incomplete. And that's intended for Sparrow. That's where Naaman Archer doesn't do well. It's when he runs with the ball, he doesn't throw too successfully. And he did that in the first game of the year. When, when he stands in the pocket, he's not too bad. But when he's on the roll, he always seems to short arm the ball. Uh, he had Lamont Caldwell chasing him. I think I'd be thinking to get rid of that thing too. <laughs> Nice play by Caldwell, number 96, and he, you know, actually, I may be barking up the wrong tree. I, I thought it was 98, and it might have been. That was uh, Royster, because I thought it was 98, but I, my bad. <laughs> Open mouth, insert microphone. Insert and foot. <laughs> <laughs> nice play by uh by Royster. He, he, I mean, he, Royster was running so fast. Oh, Clayson's flag. 
Clayson landed on the punter <laughs> after his beautiful blocking attempt. Nice run back, but it's going to come back. Who, who landed? Oh, Clayson hit the punter. Clayson, Clayson dove for the ball, missed the ball with his fingertips, and then landed directly on top of the punter. <laughs> So it could be first down and the Cougars catch a big break. Well, I don't have a big break. I mean, it was a pretty obvious that <laughs> we right, roughed the kicker. Archer looking to throw in the pocket. Fires high. Caught. Caught by Sparrow. Well, I tell you, from our angle, we couldn't see a thing. <laughs> uh, it looked entirely possible that he caught the ball. He was well covered, and I, I thought that ball was so high that it was just going to, I didn't think it had a chance. But Sparrow went up for it, and he wanted it the most that time. Wow, that's just an amazing catch, because uh, really, I thought we had it well covered. He must have been pretending he was playing defense, and he was going to catch an interception. We had, we had Wells and Velarde there, and one went, went, went at him, and the other one went over him, and uh, he still came up with the ball. So the Cougars keeping it real interesting. Eight points down with five minutes, 39 seconds to go. Archer has his slot man in motion. Handoff inside, nothing there. He's going to pick up about three yards. Is that the guy that got the touchdown? <laughs> Travis Seymour, number 22. 22. <laughs> he's still wide, all I can see is a two. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the only guy, except for 72, that has a two. So We got a 42 in the backfield, and we got a 30. Oh, oh Michael Himes, of course. 5'9", yeah. 245. He played for the Thunderbolts, and he played some D-line and some fullback. And there he goes. Michael Himes. That's the Heimlich maneuver right there. Nice run. Boy, he showed some speed there. Trapped, trapped off on that one because, boy, he really got, he must have had a good stunt going because he went right through that middle with absolutely no resistance. Looked like Ironhead Hayward. 5'9", 245. He's a truck. Pago Salou, number 57, checks out. And the Thunderbolts lead is dangerously tenuous now. First and goal on about the nine for the Washington Cougars. And they come out with a wishbone look. Three backs, handoff inside. Oh, and that was a stuff by Irvin. Irvin, number 91. He just sucked him up in his gut. Irvin's, Irvin's from Alabama. <laughs> he, he, he's from Cleveland County, Alabama. He says, now you're playing football. You got three backs in the backfield, and I know how to play against this. He probably played fullback, too. <laughs> but uh, Ir Y'all are playing football now. Irvin, Irvin stopped that play, and uh, Clayson uh, just locked up his ankle so he couldn't uh, make sure that he could get away from Irvin. <laughs> And it looked like they lost yards. They did. They lost about a, well, close to two yards. So it's first and goal from the 11 now. And it's a, it's the bone again. Hey, look at this. With Nate Griffin, it's, it's number the, 30. It's the invert. The inverted it's bone? The, it's the invert. It's going to be a ro ro roll option. Archer. Hey, they tried to do that in the first game, too. We're starting to catch on here. Well, I don't, if I'm playing the Thunderbolts, I don't be trying to run up the middle. I don't try to do the wishbone. I don't try to run outside. I'd be loosening up, trying to loosen up that secondary and loosen that whole thing up. <laughs> Slip those Put a little, little x lax in there, Gatorade or something. That's right. <laughs> 
It reminded me of the uh, Oregon Panthers famed that's where he's, formation. That's where he slipped the football, Mickey. That's where he put prune juice in the, in the Gatorade bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so third down. And the Cougars need about eight, it looks like. And it's the bone again. The inverse. Double tight end, and the, the, the offensive line moved, but they got reset. And it's going to be a pass. Lob to Sparrow. Touchdown. And it, uh, it looks like one of the van Oh, is he celebrating? <laughs> he looked like he was hurt. And that must have been the Sparrow. <laughs> Sparrows. Definitely not one who flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, they really set up the Thunderbolts with that running inside stuff and then throw it outside. Well, but like you uh, got to cover and Velarde, again, you know, kind of looking at each other on who had the assignment with what part. <laughs> who was taking low? Who was going high? Well, I didn't see Sparrow line up at all. You have three run backs and the two tight ends. I don't know where Sparrow came from. He must have been a he uh, came from tight the end. Far side of the field. Oh, he did. Yes. He was the split wide out. That's right. Oh. What a play. Well, now the Cougars can tie with a two-point conversion. Or the Thunderbolts can make a stand. There's two minutes left in the game. And regulation, that is. <laughs> We're talking regulation now. Well, they've done Ulrich everything. in they, motion. They went from a multi-shit. Oh, flag, 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 flag. Knocked down. And, and I'll Was that what? Brett? Brett Wells. Brett Wells. Over Jeff Danner, number 17. Oh, and it looks like we have, uh, that's Randall Irwin down on the ground. Well, he's trying to get up. <laughs> it's, uh, and how many look flags? Like he's, he's done like, well, there was three going at one time, so there must have been something. Looked like the 4th of July. Illegal a shift. Shiftola. Yeah, and, and I told you when the play went off, I said that we had every friggin' shift known to man going on there. <laughs> well, now, is that a penalty they can decline, or is that an automatic they get the five no, yards? No, the the, the, they let the play roll, so it's it's gone. Then that means... It's gone. They it just is declined. declined. It. So the, that's it. <laughs> I'm tripping, baby. I'm shaking the camera. Now, why did we do an onside kick? Oh, they did. Uh, I was in the press box. A flag. Thank you. Mode mites. That's right. Well, we wouldn't be able to see the game, though. Hey, but it would be the football players are too tall. But it would be fun. Onside Ola. Someone's and it got covered, the yeah. That's a silver helmet and a blue shirt. It's one of the Union, one of the Union Army. I think it's one of the Union boys. He's one of those infantry men. Ulysses Grant. No, that's a general. Oh. It wasn't Calvin Armstead. It's the guy behind Calvin Armstead, right? <laughs> Number 59, Travis Grimm. We'll give him the credit anyway. What the heck? If you put an E on it, it's Travis Grimm. Okay. If you get him dirty, it's probably Travis Grimm. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Thunderbolts. <laughs> Thunderbolts. Stop the, pan the Panthers. <laughs> what? Oh, we uh, had the two-minute right. <laughs> That's why Brad's jump, jogging right. off the field. And, and, and the horn was... That, that minute was up for the two minute warning. Okay. So now it's like so the crowd. Jeff Thomas running with the still ball. Running, still running. Still running. Getting dragged down the field by the opponents. <laughs> Come on, we'll help you, Jeff. We'll he help you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Flag down, but I think the defense was way offside, so that might just be a first down. You can't run the clock if they. Do. Oh, that. Paul Swingle saying decline, decline. And that was a heck of a play by Thomas. Did you don't stop it on a flag? You don't stop it on a flag. You don't stop it on a flag. You stop it when the ref goes like this. Thanks for clarifying that, Greg. Okay. 
Like that, like that. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> should have went on the two minutes. Well, it should be running now. They had a running play. Jeez. After, he's got to start it again, right? Yeah. Because there was a... Well, that's okay. <laughs> Let's get the rule book out here. I thought you did stop it on the flag. No, you stop it when the ref says it stops. Ah, I see. Vereen. Vereen's still going. Vereen's still getting first downs. Timeout against the Cougars. Against the Cougars.